Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a new watch from Oris with a new Big Crown Pointer Date Limited Edition. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com, as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout this video, if you have further questions, we'll have a link in the description down below to the product page where you can also purchase the watch. But guys, let's jump into the video and take a closer look at this timepiece. So as mentioned, today we're looking at a new variant representing my favorite model family from Oris, and that is the Big Crown Pointer Date Collection. This time with the Waldenberger Bahn, a limited edition model meant to celebrate the reopening of a scenic stretch of railroad that once was connecting a number of cities within the Waldenberg Valley, including the brand's home base in Holstein. While probably best being known nowadays for their Aquas collection, which also serves as the brand's number one seller, it is the Big Crown family that can claim significant rich part of Oris's heritage, tracing roots back to 1938. In a modern context, the Big Crown collection is split between the broad selection of Salita powered variants priced around $2,000, including this limited model here, and the more recent manufactured caliber 400 series models. This specific limited edition is available in 1,000 examples and comes with a sustainable deer leather strap from Servo Volante, a name you might be familiar with if you've had a watchful eye on Oris in the past couple of years. But let's take a closer look at the watch. On the wrist, the 40 millimeter wide by 48 millimeter long central case wears well, combining the vintage vibes implied by the traditional architecture, but in a sizing format that offers a fair amount of presence, especially given the amount of visual real estate being occupied by the dial in this instance. While this Walden Burgerbahn edition is only offered in 40 millimeters, the Big Crown Pointer Date family of watches is also available in 36, 38, so you do have some different variations now than you did in the past. Now looking beyond the width and length, the thickness is also relatively restrained at 12.4 millimeters, which is nice considering the high dome profile of this box section sapphire crystal. Given the curved nature of the lugs, this watch should fit well on all but the very smallest of wrists. Like other members of the pointer date family, the crown as well as the case back will screw down, enabling this model's 50 meters of water resistance. The case back is also where we find the largest nod to the railway system this model celebrates, with a deeply etched relief showing a train along with the limited edition number of this individual example. So set between the 20 millimeter lugs, we have a leather strap that we have seen once before from Oris with their servo Volante models, referencing the strap brand that is actually producing these straps. So Servo Volante is a Swiss luxury manufacturer of sustainable leather goods that utilizes deer leather to produce a range of products, including shoes, bags, and this strap. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about the brand, pretty cool initiative and what they're able to produce. And honestly, the quality of the straps are very good when many other brands in this price range, sometimes straps can be an afterthought. Equipped with quick release spring bars, the strap tapers from 20 millimeters at the lugs to 16 millimeters at the simply stamped pin buckle. The strap is supple and emblazoned on its underside with Servo Volante's Beetle logo. Moving into case finishing, the vast majority of the watch features a fine linear brush finish with small hits of polishing on the signature coin edge bezel and distinctive oversized screw down crown, which is also signed. Giving this piece a modern level of durability is a dome sapphire crystal, which we mentioned earlier to evoke the feel of the vintage acrylic models from years prior while giving you that up the resistance to scratches and getting an unobstructed view of the established big crown pointer date format along with its seldom seen pointer date functionality. Whatever the variant, the basic pointer date design style remains largely unchanged with a numerical date track printed at the periphery, a railway minute track with loom triangles at the five minute positions, printed Arabic indices, and a cathedral handset. Loom is present on the dial and hands and while it isn't amazing, it is adequate and bright enough for easy nighttime legibility in most circumstances. It is important to note here that this is more of the conventional approach outside of that special case back and the servo volante strap, which does add a bit of extra charm to the overall package. Now shifting our attention to the movement, the aforementioned engraved case back keeps watch over a venerable third party caliber from Salita. Like a lot of independent brands at or around this price point, Modern Oris has elected to make the change over to Salita calibers after years of being supplied almost exclusively by Eta, and honestly was one of the leading proponents of the caliber that led to, I think, the industry-wide adoption. Now, the Pointer Date family has long depended on a subtly modified version of the SW200, a basic time and date caliber made to mirror the ETA 2824. Of course, this one is going to be modified to an extent to allow the Pointer Date function to take place. But beyond that, you're getting the general specifications and reliability that comes with a Salita caliber. 28,800 vibrations per hour, 4 hertz, hacking and hand winding functionality, hacking stopping the second hand when you pull the crown to 
to the farthest position in power reserve of 38 hours. We also tested this watch across five different positions and it was running between plus five to plus eight seconds a day. All right, but now to unpack looking at this Oris Big Crown Pointer date, the Waldenberger Bond Limited Edition. So just to talk about some general cons, pros associated with this watch, I think a lot of the stuff really remains the same. Now, these are some of my favorite watches that Oris makes, if not my favorite watches that they make. So just to say that I'm a little bit more, uh, have some affinity to this collection than maybe some others out there. Now to begin with some of the probably drawbacks for some out there, maybe seeing more than 50 meters of water resistance is always a request for some out there. Uh, do I think that perhaps is not going to be something that most people will feel, especially with this watch, maybe falling closer to the dress side than more of the sporty side, of course. Uh, perhaps a little bit maybe of too much of a request, but I can understand why there are going to be some people that say, hey, we might need 100 meters here instead. The other element that I'll mention here is the 40 millimeter does wear maybe slightly larger than proposed. Still wears well on my wrist, but now with the 36 millimeter, 38 millimeter options with those Servo Volante editions and some new caliber 400 options, you do have some more flexibility than in the past than you did, which I don't necessarily think is a downside of this watch, but given that it is a limited edition, I think you do have to, of course, think about that. But now let's shift over to why I really just am a huge champion for the Oris Big Crown Pointer Day collection. For one, great design and it's unique in terms of its price range. Dates back to the 1938 in terms of this collection and family. The engraved case back also looks the part. It looks great. It's a nice little nod and I think it was not too much over branding while still being there and having the details. This is one of the most versatile watches that Oris makes in terms of the collection. It looks great in a suit and a tie environment, but I also think it would look great with jeans and a t-shirt. And finally, I think another compelling thing about the Oris Big Crown Pointer date, specifically this reference with this dial color, is it is going to be very versatile beyond just the typical, while still giving you a unique complication type that doesn't interfere with what is trying to be done. The pointer date is very elegant, but when you typically associate brands with this complication, you're talking about the high end of the high end. So to see it in this price range is a bit more of an anomaly. And another reason why I think this is a compelling collection and watch to take a look at if you do have around $2,000 to spend. All right guys, well thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon, that's a great help and I do appreciate it. Also, if you're in the market for the watch featured here, it is available on teddybaldister.com. Teddybaldister.com is an authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, over 30, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. Also, how we're able to produce this content on the main channel, especially. We don't charge the brands for content. How we're able to fund it is through selling watches on our site. So if you are in the market for a watch, we'd love to have your business. We know you can buy a watch anywhere. Uh, but again, we truly would love to have it. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.